Some great advice I always got from my parents is, don't be a dumbass. And it's advice I've tried to follow nonstop for a good few years now. I let myself slack a little back in school and when I first moved out, but now I realize that there's really no excuse why you shouldn't be learning every chance you get. You hear it all the time, knowledge is power. It sounds cliche, but that's mainly because it's true. This isn't a case of brains over brawn. I'm not trying to say that the person in the room who knows the most about astrophysics is gonna reign victorious in every scenario. What I'm saying is that out in the real world, when you're going against everybody else, the person who knows the field the strongest is most likely gonna take the grand prize. And what is the grand prize? Well, that all depends. It could be a promotion, or contest winnings, or hey, just good old recognition. The field that I'm talking from the perspective of is, of course, a filmmaker. But the fact of the matter is that this reigns true for every profession there is, and has forever. The difference is that today, there are absolutely no excuses why you shouldn't be the best if you really want to be. Gone are the days where you had to travel to pay to get the best education around. You're not limited by the luck of a good or a bad teacher, or connections that your family may have. Knowledge is literally everywhere, and you can harness it in any way you want. I spend every moment that I can learning, because I believe it's humanity's greatest freedom. This isn't me trying to sound wise or important. This is me speaking from personal experience knowing how far I've been able to go in my career solely based on the time I've dedicated to expanding my brain and its creativity. So, how do we maximize our time? How can you ensure that you're always learning? Well, for starters, and this is gonna sound totally pretentious, shut off the TV and pick up a book. No, not Harry Potter for the 45th time, and yes, that's how many times I've tragically read the series, but a book that's gonna teach you something about what you wanna learn. Let me give you some examples. I wanted to learn about entrepreneurship and how I could start using my money to make more money because who doesn't love money, right? Well, I started off on YouTube and typed in advice for entrepreneurs. Bam, hundreds of thousands of videos right there. The rest of that day was dedicated to taking in a little bit of everything and binging the channels that were speaking to me the best. Among those videos, all of them gave similar advice, read as often as possible. So what was my next step? I used this handy dandy website called Google and did a search, best books for entrepreneurs. And there they all were, top 10 lists of books for entrepreneurs. And I got them all. And within those books were suggestions for more books that I could get when I finished. And so I got them too. I try my best to read at least two books every month with the goal of eventually getting up to a book a week. Chances are that if you see me, my latest book is somewhere nearby. If for some reason that isn't the case, feel free to approach me and call me out on it. I'll tell you where it's at, as I'm sure there's a good enough reason. Now, even if you're not into entrepreneurship, I still recommend personal growth books because they can help you strengthen your mind and improve learning things that you are interested in. Most stores have entire sections just for these topics. Make a trip of it and go to the store and get yourself a great book that seems right for you. I personally prefer to own all the books that I read so I can make notes, mark, and yes, even dog ear pages that I find the most helpful. <coughs> even though I realize that dog earing is taboo to some avid book readers, but it works for me. Sorry, runs in the family. That being said, I know that a lot of people would prefer not to spend their money on books. So allow me to introduce you to the library. Did you know this place is full of books and they just give them away to people like they're worthless? <laughs> Suckers. They're actually worth a lot and seriously, use that resource. Books, movies, audiobooks, libraries have it all. Now, obviously you're not always gonna be in the position where you can read a book. Sometimes you might be driving, walking, working, petting a cat. There's all sorts of things we have to do in life that take time away from reading. So what do we do then? Well, choosing times like these to learn even more is what's gonna give you the advantage over your competitors. Mindless work doesn't always have to be mindless. There are plenty of parts up to my daily routine that involve very easy things, even if they are time consuming. <laughs> for example, I have to resize a lot of images for work I do on these videos and List 25. That doesn't require my full attention, however, so I use that time to put on a video about something I'm interested in learning more about. For me, it could be a video about new techniques I can use in my films. I've used that time to learn the basics of motion tracking so I can start adding more impressive effects into my films. 
Getting the basics out of the way saves me time when I later want to go and learn about the process in detail. And this applies for every new skill I hope to increase my skill levels of. And what about if you're driving? Watching videos on the road would be pretty dumb. Reading would somehow be even dumber. Well, I'm sure I wouldn't be the first person to teach you about podcasts. I really hate long drives. But unfortunately, they're a big part of my job, as I have to go and meet with potential business partners and actors that I want to work with. But drives go by a lot quicker if you download a few podcasts ahead of time. As a fan of Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, I was ecstatic to find out that they had podcasts to go along with every episode. The writers, actors, and producers all get together and discuss the show that's inspired me time and time again. It's incredible to just sit and listen to an undeniably talented group of people just talk about their craft and think about how either you relate or hope to implement some of their routines into your own daily life. And that brings me to my next way to consistently learn. Shut up. Now, that might sound harsh, but hear me out. While you might follow my advice and dedicate all the time you can to learning, there will always be people who know even more than you. And that's amazing. No, seriously, that is a great thing. One of my favorite things to do is get involved in conversations without even speaking a word. If you were to see me at a party amongst a crowd of people, you might notice that I'm usually the quiet one in the group. Don't let this fool you. I'm actually quite an extrovert, but I'd much rather just listen and observe a conversation between multiple people and listen to all their points that contribute and risk messing with their flow. A really exciting thing happened to me just a few weeks ago. I was walking with a friend who, if I'm being honest, is years ahead of me in life and has experience that I literally dream about. And we ran into the acting teacher of my city's college. The three of us ended up having a talk, but I didn't wait long before I subtly took myself out of the conversation and just let these two go at it. Hearing these two people, each with years of experience in film and theater under their belt, just having a talk about the industry and where the future was going was honestly something to treasure. It was inspiring helped me see what I had the potential to become if I kept working on my own dreams, collecting wisdom to one day pass on to others, which is something I'd like to think I've already started doing with this channel. So please, shut your mouth and open your ears, because everyone has something important to say, and those are the classes you won't want to miss. The second to last way to continuously learn goes out mainly to the filmmakers and enthusiasts of this channel. I'm sure there are productions that inspire you. One or two of them probably even made you realize this is the path you wanted to pursue in life. Well. More than likely, that TV show or movie has a DVD collection that's available for you to purchase, and on those discs will almost definitely be special features. These features can range from audio commentaries and actors and directors to full-length documentaries about the making of your favorite flicks. That's right, the ones who inspired you through their art are essentially handing out free courses for you to learn from. If you don't take advantage of these things like that, there's no other way to say it. You're a fool. Finally. I want to talk about a source that may or may not be a bit controversial. Your boss. I know a lot of you probably have bosses that you can't stand or even hate, but guess what? They got to where they are somehow, and chances are there's at least a few things that you can learn from them. So maybe stop hating them for a moment and respect what's to be respected. There's probably an entire video I can make from this topic, but for now, let me just admit that I've had more than a few bosses, and each of them were different. I liked most of them. And there were a few that I despised with every bone in my body. But they all had one thing in common. They had lessons to teach. Your boss is someone who's worth observing. See how he or she runs the team. How do they interact with others? What do you like about their management style? What do you dislike? Because those are the things that you'll want to either replicate or dispose of by the time you go into a position of authority. And I imagine that's the goal that most of you have, leading a team of your own in the future. Your bosses are basically your parental business figures. You don't have to let them fully raise you, but you should at least pay attention. Not only will it help you keep a job, it could help invest in your future. So, how do you like to learn? What are some ways that you keep your mind going? Let me know in the comments below, and until next week at the same time, good night.